Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reading a book called The Missing Unicorn, I mean The Missing Horn, I'm a Unicorn. Once upon a time, far away, there lived a large family of unicorns. There was a mother unicorn, a father unicorn, five sisters, and five brothers. Our story is about a young, selfish unicorn named Grace. One morning, while they were eating breakfast, Grace said, I want to be the most beautiful unicorn in the whole world. Everyone wants to be the most beautiful, Grace, but the only ways to do that is by doing kind things and helping one another. If you don't do that, then you could lose your horn completely. Grace laughed at her mother and followed her brothers and sisters outside. These, those are just stories, she told herself. Grace, that's not fair. It's my turn to play with the ball, her brother yelled as they were playing. This ball is, m this ball is mine, Thomas, Thomas, she said. Only I can play with it. She looked at she took the ball and walked off to lie down in the sun. She had decided to take a nap next to the stream. Hey, that's my spot, she shouted to at her sister. Her sister ignored her. She got angry. She kicked her sister into the water. You're not a nice unicorn, Grace said to her sister. She ran away. Grace was angry. My sister's just jealous of my sister soft coat she thought that night she she lay under the stars she made a wish she wanted to be the greatest unicorn ever i want to be i want everyone to see to in the world to see how beautiful i am soon after making her wish she fell asleep the next morning thomas woke her up with a gas yes grace grace wake up what do you want she snapped he started to giggle mother warned you grace look what look what is happening what are you talking about she climbed up sleepily and went to the stream she's wait right here i can see her horn but now it's gone she started she stared at the reflection staring back at her no she screamed this is a trick who did this to me the face looking back at her was not at not at all beautiful instead her coat was grayish brown and her eyes had lost their shine. The most important thing was missing from her reflection was her golden horn. No one can see me like this. I'm so ordinary I'm s and so ugly. But there's a smile on her face. That's weird. She looked at her brother who was staring at her with his mouth open. His coat sparkled and his horn shone like a diamond. Tears filled her eyes. She turned around and ran into the forest. Her brother called after her, but she ran as fast as she could. She finally stopped to drink of water to have a drink of water by the riverside. She sat down and cried. Who am I now? She asked her new reflection. Who do you want to be? Croaked a voice. A small frog sitting on a rock in the middle of the river. Well, yesterday, I was the most beautiful unicorn ever. Damn this, she cried. Why don't you help me get across the river? I can try to help you. Help me, she snorted. Are you a you're a small, ugly frog? You can't me. Everyone knows that selfish unicorns can lose their horns. He said, call me. The current is so strong. Help me get across and I'll help you become a unicorn again. No, then I will be wet and all muddy, she said. Then I will surely drown, said the frog. Grace sighed and climbed into the water. Plop, the frog landed on top of her head. Thank you, kind unicorn. Now let's give you some good deeds and bring your horn back. On their journey through the forest, they found a little bird in the middle of the room. Help, help, please help me, she chirped. I have hurt my wing, and I cannot get up to, to the nest to feed my babies. Of course I will help you, said the frog. My friend here is looking for animals on this to help on this fine day. Grace extended her neck to the ground, and the little mother bird fluttered on her nose. Then she walked closer to the tree, where the mother bird jumped off into her nest. Thank you so much for helping me today. Grace felt her heart warm as she smiled. It, it is my pleasure, she said. They continued down the, the road and heard something rustling in the distance. Is anyone there? I seem to have gotten myself in, into an interesting situation. I came closer and found a deer that had got his antlers stuck in a fence. We can help you, said Grace bold, boldly. She found a wooden post and kicked it. It wouldn't move. She kicked it again and again until she felt it become loose. She gave it one final kick with her hind leg, and the post fell over, releasing the deer. Thank you so much, you kind soul, said the deer. Grace smiled as he ran away. It feels good to be kind, Mr. Frog, said Grace. I think I have to return to my home and apologize to my family. I wasn't very nice to them. Farewell, dear, dear unicorn, and don't forget how small a deed for you can be for deed others for others. When Grace arrived home, she felt embarrassed. Everyone had been looking for her. I'm very sorry for running away. I, I have been such a, self, a selfish unicorn. Sorry, Grace 
felt a tingle in her forehead. Everyone gasped. You are you again, Grace, the most beautiful in the family. She ran toward the stream and was delighted to see her blue soft eyes, soft coat, and golden horn had returned. Well, I don't think her horn is that gold. It's pink, and now it's blue. I found out that being kind to others is more important than being beautiful. She smiled and said, Mother, do you need help with dinner? I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, comment your opinion, and give a thumbs up. I'll see you in our next video. Bye!